see ya. Yo, what is up guys, Metaphor here, and today I'm bringing you a nasty, nasty gameplay with the OG M4A1. I'm sure at everyone's history in this game, unless you're relatively new, this was probably your favorite gun at one point. Now, I do have a bit of a twist on the gun. I am actually rocking the VLK 3.0 on it with the classic cross sight. I don't know what it's actually called. T-Pose. Of course, I don't know how I forgot that. And this is the setup that I'm running. Pretty standard stuff. Um, like I said before in yesterday's video, guys, I am using a new mouse, so... Uh, you know, my sensitivity feels kind of like everything feels kind of weird. My aim was pretty bad this game. Um, and yeah, so if my aim seems a little bad, don't worry. It's not the gun. This gun actually felt really, really good. Uh, since this is just a one gameplay video, most of the stuff in this gameplay isn't actually going to be cut. So you guys will definitely see this gun in its true power. I'm also pairing it up with the AS Val. And I actually was reading in the comments, people were talking about how ineffective sleight of hand is on the AS Val. So I put on Stipple just for that extra sprint to fire speed. The ADS helps, but if you're just going for ADS, you want the stock. So... I use this mainly for the sprint to fire, and the AS Val is beaming as hard as ever. This is basically a double combo too, because both of these skins actually come from the exact same uh, bundle. It's the one where you get the, uh, I don't know, the new snow operator. Regardless, hopefully you guys do enjoy the video. Uh, my G Fuel code, I think is still 30% off for the rest of this weekend. Everyone basically has a 30% code for Christmas in July sale. They usually do every year, which is pretty dope. If you guys do get any new flavors, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I've been seeing you guys posting a lot and I'm definitely ordering some new flavors. Like I said before, guys, merch is definitely coming soon. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This is a really good video. You guys are going to love it. Peace out, guys, and have a good day. I have aimbot. I almost trolled. Well, I did troll, but almost like bad. They never expected. That's a tough angle to get a kill on. You think this guy knows that he's like using the sun as cover? I wonder if he's still up there. Oh my gosh, he is. Dude, you're hacking. Okay, I'm. Yeah. And, no, I just, I just saw you, but. What? He's just glitching in the map. How is that still in the game? I swear to God, this is being recorded on the 24th of July. Just, just to prove that this is being recorded today.
That guy is way further back than I thought he was. Oh, this sucks. Enemy UAV overhead. Cheating prick. What? I need to borrow this. Take your PPSH. I like this gun. Bro, everyone is just so fed up with the cheaters, bro. Everyone is like I mean you guys even saw it in my last video. I thought a guy I thought a guy was cheating and he wasn't. And it's not even because people are like sore losers. It's just there's that many of them. Wait, he got killed. You stole my kill. Damn the M4 fries, bro. Okay, I really didn't hit a shot there. Alistair... Edit hit markers into those shots, please. Thank you. You guys got to bear with me here. You guys gotta remember I'm still on that new mouse, so my sensitivity and accuracy are still not perfect to what they used to be. Not that I've ever had perfect aim, but you know what I mean. That sucks for him. That is a lose, lose, lose scenario for him, bro. Only thing you can do in that position is just leave the game, literally. It's probably one of the best things you can do when you get hit by a stun. And that is to mantle uh, mantle over something. So I stunned him right here, and he mantled over that window right there. Obviously, if you get stunned, you're pretty much GG'd, but 
uh, if you can jump over things, it's really good because most of the time when you get stunned, the person's going to think you can't move, which you can't. But if you're near something that you can uh, jump over, then you can usually actually get away from them. This is really scary. I could get killed by a ghosted player at any point in time here. I think I saw this guy being shot by his left. But he was also hiding from somebody on his right. I gotta be careful because that guy that was shooting at him from his left is probably looking at me right now. Unless I'm just tripping and those bullets were not what I thought they were. I feel more comfortable fighting the people in Boneyard. get destroyed wow that guy was like I'm pretty sure that guy was mounted that guy actually got destroyed by my M4 or er, M4 it's in my best interest to push the guy who isn't ghosted but the issue is is there could be a ghosted player in the graveyard or even just a ghosted player right here Okay, that guy had a gunny on him, what? I'm pretty sure I shot that guy earlier and he was a bot. Now he's just a god? He's got another airstrike, okay. Two more, but I don't know how they're not fighting each other. Unless that means there's one behind me and he's just being a rat. This is tough. Basically, the two people who get into a fight first. He's got to be over here. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, I'm going to be honest. The M4 beams. My aim was so bad that game, but I was railing people. And I died to some little cheater too. Of course I did. Yo, dude, the M4 actually beams. Let's go, bro. Oh, Wayne Brady was in my game. Dude, that was an, an insane stick. Oh my god. That was such a slow game, but then it turned insane. Let's go, dude. Got a metaphor. Hi. Sir, literally, I just want you to know I'll watch all your YouTube for... Oh shit, you're gonna be in tomorrow's video. Say what's up. Yes, sir. <laughs> GG's, bro.